The battle is the Lord's. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Jehoshaphat was surrounded with, a, with enemy armies. And they were coming at him. You know, there are times in our lives when the enemy tries to surround us with sickness, with disease, with strife, with uh, jealousy, with uh, backbiting, with financial difficulties. All of these situations might be coming at the children of the Lord. But in 2 Chronicles 20, they sought the Lord. They began to pray, and they sought the Lord, and they heard from the Lord. And the Lord said, you will not need to fight in this battle. In, in chapter 20 of 2 Chronicles, it says here uh, in verse 17, you will not have to fight in this battle. Take up your position Stand firm and see the deliverance of the Lord will come to you, O Judah and Jerusalem. O people of God, take up your position in the Lord. And he says in Luke 10, 19, I have given you power and authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. Take up your position in the army of God. Jehoshaphat and the children of, of, of Judah did just that. They took up their position of praise. And if we read on, it says that they were told to send out the praisers first, the worshipers first. You know, first we need to seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto us. What kind of things? Things that we need to live on this earth. Things that we need to have to come against those attacks of the enemy on our families, on our bodies, on our minds. Someone's listening me, to me today that I know that you've been having a battle with depression. The Lord says if you will just take your position of praise and praise me and worship me, that, that the, the spirit of depression will, will lift off of you and be gone. Praise the name of Jesus. It says this, this is what they, the, the children of Judah were told to do. Send out the praisers first, and this is what they were to, to sing. Give thanks to the Lord, for His mercy endureth forever. The King James says, Praise ye the Lord, for His mercy endureth forever. You know, what does that do when you, when you sing or when you speak that out of your mouth? It encourages you and it causes you to go on and it causes you to be able to, uh, to fight the good fight of faith. Jehoshaphat was told that he did not have to fight in this battle. They sent out the praisers first and they sang, Praise ye the Lord. For his mercy endureth forever. And they just sang it over and over and over again. I don't care how many times you have to sing it and march around your house or march around your workplace or uh, march around your children's school. Do it. Take up your position of praise. And the Lord, it says here, in verse 22, And as they began to sing and praise the Lord, the Lord set an ambushment against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah. And they were defeated. Praise the Lord. Do you want victory today? The battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. All we have to do is take up our position of praise and He will defeat our enemies. That's what the Word of God says. 
You know, it says in the book of Revelation, I love this passage where Jesus comes with his writers. It says, uh, the beloved John writes in, in Revelation chapter 19, verse 11, I saw heaven open and standing there, and behold, I saw a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. And we know that that's Jesus. With justice, he judges and makes war. Jesus will make war for you. Even today, he will make war for you. If you've got arthritis in your body, he will make war against that arthritis and he will defeat it in Jesus' name. His eyes are like a blazing fire and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. The armies of heaven are following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen. White, and a, out of his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads, treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty, and on his robe and on, the, on his thigh is written, King of kings and Lord of lords. I love this passage because when I read it, I think about who lives inside of me. Jesus lives inside of me. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. If you are a Christian today, if you're a child of God today, then let Jesus arise in you and your enemies will be scattered. In 1 John, he says that Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And that's what he wants to do for you today. He wants your enemies defeated in your life, in your body, in your mind, in your workplace. Let him rise up in you. Take your position of praise for the, the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to the Lord. And I tell that depression to go, and I tell arthritis to go, and I tell diabetes to go, and I tell a heart disease to go. I, I call uh, that um, mental disorder, the bipolar, manic depressive, I tell it to go in the name of Jesus. I tell panic attacks and anxiety attacks to go in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. Thank you for viewing. She